of the Islamic Research Foundation. The Islamic Research Foundation, which is based in Bombay, was started in 1991. Its main objective is to concentrate on the educated Muslim youth to remove their inferiority complex and those that have an apologetic approach to prove to them, alhamdulillah, that Islam is the best way of life and is the most up-to-date way of life. And Quran, alhamdulillah, has the solution to the problems of humankind. We are also concentrating on removing the misconceptions from the minds of the non-Muslims. Today we find on the media there is virulent propaganda about Islam in the international newspapers, in the international magazines, on the television channels. Alhamdulillah, the Islam Research Foundation is specialized in giving replies to the questions posed by non-Muslims. And I've written a book, Reply, to the questions asked by non-Muslims. It's available on the net, www.irf.net. And Alhamdulillah, we have started a school by the name Islamic International School and it mainly gives education to the children. Besides formal education, there is also Islamic education. It's a combination of both, where besides teaching English, science, geography, history, etc., we also teach Quran, Hadith, Sharia, Fiqh, Alhamdulillah. And right from the age of three, when the child is enrolled in the nursery, we have dual medium of instruction, English as well as Arabic. When we teach the child A for apple, B for ball, we simultaneously teach Arabic, min alif asadun, min babaitun, min tatu fahun. So we want to make the children that the mother tongue should be Arabic as well as English. Mother tongue, I mean a language in which a person can think the best, speak the best, understand the best, so that he can understand the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given the last and final revelation, the glorious Quran. And alhamdulillah, we have also started a branch in, in Chennai. And inshallah, we intend to start having branches in different parts of India as well as the world, inshallah. In this school that we have, alhamdulillah, we have approximately 12 periods every day. Two are for extracurricular activities, martial arts, swimming, computers, etc. And the remaining 10 periods, five are in English, five are in Arabic. The Arabic subjects deal with Hifz of the Quran, Tafsir, Hadith, Tilawat, Fiqh, etc. The remaining five subjects in English, one of them is Islamic studies in English for Dawa purpose, and the others are English, Mathematics, Science, etc. So that we want a striking balance between the two. So that when a person passes from the school, besides having knowledge of the Quran and Hadith and Sharia, he also has knowledge of the worldly things. So if a person becomes a doctor or engineer or a lawyer, he is a good Muslim doctor, a good Muslim engineer, and a good Muslim lawyer. Some may specialize in the field of Islamic studies like Mufassir, Muhaddis, etc. So that we have people who can present Islam in the right way to the world. In the Islamic Research Foundation, Alhamdulillah, we have the our training programs where we train the people how to convey the message of Islam. We have the our training program, it's a crash course of approximately one month we have every year. There we train the people how they should convey the message of Islam and how they should answer to the media as well as how to reply to the allegations made against Islam and Quran. Alhamdulillah, we also have a ladies wing which caters mainly to the ladies, Alhamdulillah. I feel now we have several questions waiting on the line. So inshallah, we can continue with this after we answer the questions. Yes, can we have the first question, please? Assalamu alaikum. 